There is now more that is coming out about Tucker Carlson's firing from Fox News, and some of this stuff is very interesting, to the point where this may have been simply a personal decision on a whim based on a single event that happened. So I'm going to show you all of the speculation, all of what's coming out right now, and ultimately the reason why this is making a lot of news and why this is so important is because Tucker has or had a massive massive audience the number one cable news host in existence regardless of of a uh, of network and f like deciding to fire that guy is a great decision <laughs> by fox news but one that may have not been the greatest business decision if this is the reason why they fired him as opposed to them being worried about some other lawsuits that are coming down but uh i'll get to all that so there is there really has been very little discussion about this on Fox News, which I guess is to be expected. Sean Hannity basically said, we're not talking about Tucker. I don't have any details on it. I'm sure he knows a lot, but he's not going to talk about it. Uh, but in contrast to that, Geraldo Rivera, also a Fox News contributor, did come out to say this. I don't wish ill on anybody, but there is no doubt, as I said at the time, Tucker Carlson's perverse Jan 6 conspiracy theory was BS. Having lost the election, President Trump incited an insurrection that sought to undermine our constitutional process. So this isn't necessarily just a, a Tucker issue. There were a lot of hosts on air, even up to recently, pushing this garbage. So, it, you know, whatever. This is a, a, a fine criticism, but it's a larger issue at Fox, Geraldo's employer. Now... Let's get to some of the speculation, all right? So initially, I mentioned this in my first video, how this this firing or this parting of ways happened just days after the settlement in the Dominion lawsuit where Fox News agreed to, paid, uh, agreed to pay $787.5 million in the defamation suit. That was, of course, around the voting machines. Fox is pretending, at least some of the hosts on air pretending, and their guests pretending that the machines somehow... Flipped the results of the election, obviously complete BS, but uh, Fox News agreed to pay that. So the idea at the time was, well, maybe that was part of the the, the settlement, was we'll agree to the settlement, but also you got to fire uh, Tuck Carlson. That, of course, is still a possibility, but there's more coming out now. Tucker, here's one of the things that came out. Tucker Carlson privately called a senior Fox News exec the C-word and wanted the world to know. This is very uh, weird, <laughs> I guess. It turns out that Carlson frequently, not, not the part of him using the word, but the next part that comes after. It turns out that Carlson frequently used the C word to describe women he did not care for. This is not at all surprising. Emails and texts found discovery revealed that he referred to lead election denier Sidney Powell in this manner. Former Booker Abby Grossberg, who we'll get to more on in a bit, now suing the networks, has made similar allegations that the word has bandied about at Tucker Carlson Tonight offices. This part is very weird, though. To be clear, according to the reporting of a Murdoch-owned outlet, Carlson was unhappy that his use of the C-word against a senior executive was redacted from court filings, even though he had told Dominion lawyers he was deeply embarrassed those words had come to light. So he was unhappy that they redacted that from what was going to be really released publicly. <laughs> he wanted it out there that he used the C word against a senior executive. Now, the reason why I think, not knowing, but the reason why I think he wanted that to be out there is because it would give more I don't know, credibility to the idea that Carlson is, is anti-elite. Here he is sticking it to the elites, calling them the C word. But of course, Carlson's an elite. He, he He's not anti-elite. But he wants to give that idea, that impression out there that, oh, he's he, he hates these elites. He's going to speak truth to power. So I think that's why he wanted that to be in there. Um, but it also may be part of the lawsuit, or is part of the lawsuit that, that came down, a different one. So Fox News producer, who I just mentioned, Abby, uh, Abby Grossberg, claims Fox lawyers intimidated her before Dominion deposition. So there's this is there's two parts to this lawsuit. That also may have played a part in Tucker getting fired. So there's the part where the producers or the lawyers intimidated her to give, uh, you know, give a, a different story than she wanted to give. 
So kind of coached her to protect the hosts at the network, protect uh, executives at the network, and really put herself at risk in uh, in the uh, deposition. But the also the second half of that is also alleging discrimination and harassment. So this is this is something <laughs> something else. The lawsuit states that there were images of former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi in a plunging bathing suit revealing her cleavage plastered around the Manhattan workplace of Tucker Carlson tonight. The lawsuit also states that staffers were polled on two separate occasions on which uh, of two female candidates for Michigan governor they would rather have sex with. Grossberg told The Times on Monday that the culture at Fox News is one that doesn't respect or value women. None of this is surprising at all. In fact, I believe I may be able to find this image and uh, put it in here if, if it is the case. But I believe Tucker even used uh, that image of Nancy Pelosi in one of his stories. So not really surprising to see the attitude there towards women, the sexist nature of uh, that office. But this one, this is the story that may have actually led to his firing. And this is just wild to me. So Tucker Carlson's prayer talk may have led to Fox News ouster. So let me uh, give you the full picture here, all right? So this is the new theory, as Vanity Fair writes. According to the source, Fox's Rupert Murdoch removed Carlson over remarks Carlson made during a speech at the Heritage Foundation's 50th anniversary gala on Friday night. So keep in mind, Tucker was just fired. This means if he was there Friday night, then it, and giving a speech, then they had no plans at that time to fire him. The firing either came later that night or over the weekend or Monday morning. So it was sort of a rash decision. If it was part of the lawsuit or part of the settlement in the Dominion lawsuit, I, I would be surprised that, like, why would Carlson then be at the speech at the, at the Scala? So I think it may have more to do with what happened here and the connecting uh, story with this. So Carlson laced his speech with religious overtones that even Murdoch found too extreme, the source said, who uh, was briefed on Murdoch's decision making. Carlson told the Heritage audience that national politics has become a mannequin battle between good and evil. Carlson said that people advocating for transgender rights and diversity, equity, and inclusion programs want to destroy America, and they could be and they could not be persuaded with facts. Quote, we should say that and stop engaging in these totally fraudulent debates. I've tried. That doesn't work, he said. The answer Carlson suggested was prayer. Quote, I have concluded it might be worth taking just 10 minutes out of your busy schedule to say a prayer for the future, and I hope you will. That stuff freaks Rupert out. He doesn't like all the spiritual talk, the source said. So, I find just this alone to be kind of surprising. The spiritual talk freaks Rupert Murdoch out. Have you watched your network? <laughs> Do you listen to any of the Republican politicians out there? This is inherent to the party. But apparently Tucker took it too far, supposedly. And I don't even necessarily think that this speech was the issue. I think the next thing here is if this story is true, this is what likely would have pushed him over the edge to fire Carlson. So Murdoch was perhaps unnerved by Carlson's uh, messianism because it echoed the end times worldview of Murdoch's ex fiance and Leslie Smith, the source said. In my May cover story, I reported that Murdoch and Smith called off their two-week engagement because Smith had told people Carlson was a messenger from God. That <laughs> Murdoch had seen Carlson and Smith discuss religion firsthand. In late March, Carlson had dinner at Murdoch's Bel Air Vineyard with Murdoch and Smith, according to the source, during dinner, Smith pulled out a Bible and started reading passages from the book of Exodus, the source said. Quote, Rupert just sat there and stared. A few days after the dinner, Murdoch and Smith called off the wedding. By taking Carlson off the air, Murdoch was also taking away his ex's favorite show. Smith did not respond to a request for comment. So <laughs> it's possible here 
Rupert Murdoch decided to fire Carlson on a whim because of the speech at the gala, the spiritual speech, combined with his hatred for his ex fiance <laughs> wanting to get her favorite show off the air. So they go on here to describe how Murdoch has been making uh, a string of erratic decisions that uh, raise questions about his leadership, at least in terms of people that are around him and people that want to see, you know, the this this empire do well. Uh, so I would, in terms of a business decision, I would categorize this under an erratic decision. Unless, again, it's connected to some other larger worries about the impact on the business when it comes to, say, this lawsuit. Not, not the Dominion one, the, the one about the Fox's producer. So, you know, it's, we don't know. But uh, just showing you how, how wacky things are <laughs> right now, how very uh, succession-like it is right there in, uh, in the, uh, the Murdoch empire. Um, last couple things here. Because Tucker has not yet come out to say anything. I'm going to get to, at least partly likely why, but here is Carrie Lake begging Tucker to break his silence. I don't know what Tucker's deal is, but I worry that he might still be under contract and they're literally going to be paying him 10, 20, 30 million a year to just sit there and be quiet. We can't afford to have Tucker Carlson's voice silenced for a year and a half. I don't know if Tucker's listening to this, but if he happens to hear it, I beg you, Tucker Carlson to speak out, break the terms of that contract. We need your voice over the next year and a half to save our country. Yeah. And if you get sued by your former employer, we will help create a defense fund to help you fight that lawsuit. We need your voice. We need every American's voice who cares about this country in the next year and a half to save our constitution and to save our country. All right. So first off, I would not take any legal advice ever from Kerry Lake. Secondly, though, if Tucker thought that it would benefit him to speak out, he would be doing it. Tucker's all about himself. There's a good reason, likely, as to why he has not yet said anything. And this probably has something to do with it. Fox News reportedly has secret oppo file on Tucker Carlson in case he tries to, or in case he trashes the network. So they got some dirt on Tucker, apparently, that I'm sure he does not want released. No one knows what that is yet. And if it, if, if it would even hurt him, I mean, is it simply allegations of sexism from his workplace, which I don't think would damage him at all for his audience, but there's a reason why he's not speaking out. And I'm sure there's stuff in there that he does not want, uh, he does not want released. So right now it is just a pure win. <laughs> in my initial video on Tucker being fired, I speculated that, oh, maybe he's running for president. Maybe he, you know, is going to go somewhere else, go, go to rumble, go to, um, Daily Wire, and grift off the idea that he was too hot for Fox News, but he can't really do that if there's this oppo file on him that he doesn't want released. So he may actually be quiet for a while, at least in terms of once he gets his lawyers in place and figures out what he can and can't say. But uh, I would bet on it's very it's possible, maybe not likely, but it's possible that Tucker simply goes away, just like Bill O'Reilly did when he was fired. Or Glenn Beck, who I guess is kind of back, but doesn't have the same power he once had uh, when he was at Fox News. Megyn Kelly, another example, a massive star at Fox, left, fizzled out. She has a podcast, I think, but no one really pays attention. It's very possible that Tucker is going to be in the same position because ultimately the Fox viewer is stuck on the couch. Are they really... The, you know, on in on on average, of course, of course, there are you know there are younger members that or younger viewers that'll follow Tucker anywhere, but by and large, the Fox viewer, the average age is is plus seventy plus. Are they really going to follow Tucker to Rumble? <laughs> Do they know what Rumble is? So I, I I I don't I don't know, but I'm beginning to think that this may just turn into uh, Tucker disappearing which is just purely beneficial for society as a whole.